a new strategic path for Sweden and a new member for NATO. As the Swedish flag was raised Monday at Alliance headquarters in Brussels, Prime Minister Ulf Christensen said it was a natural step for his country. Sweden has come home. Home to the security cooperation of democracies, home to the security cooperation of our good neighbours. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg welcomed the alliance's 32nd member. Sweden's accession shows again that NATO's door remains open. No one can close it. Every nation has the right to choose its own path, and we all choose the path of freedom and democracy. The brave people of Ukraine are fighting for these values as we speak. Sweden and Finland applied to join NATO in May 2022, three months after Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Finland joined in April 2023, but Turkey and Hungary delayed ratifying Sweden's bid. Ankara accused Sweden of harboring Kurdish separatists, whom it considers terrorists. The passing of a new anti-terrorism law in Sweden persuaded Turkey to approve the accession. Budapest objected to Swedish criticisms of democratic backsliding in Hungary. A new bilateral defence deal last month overcame those differences. After two centuries of military non-alignment, NATO membership marks a significant change for Sweden and its people. A couple of years ago I was really against Sweden joining NATO because I really uh, am for this neutral uh, neutrality policy that we have. Uh, but now I believe it's really important that we actually, well, I guess we had to take a stance, really. I think that's feel uh, much safer now. Uh, before we was outside and uh, feel a little bit alone. Sweden brings valuable military capabilities to NATO, including a new generation of submarines scheduled for launch by 2028 to protect vulnerable seabed infrastructure. With all Nordic countries now being members of NATO, and also the Baltic states being members of NATO, that allows for real holistic planning of the defense of Northern Europe and the Baltic Sea area. Sweden is particularly qualified to operate in the Baltic Sea, which is a, a very special region. It's like shallow waters in which you can't really see that well. So Sweden, Sweden is very good at that. Swedish forces are already training with NATO allies in the alliance's largest military drills since the Cold War. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said he intends to strengthen his country's military presence along its western borders to, in his words, neutralize threats associated with the next expansion of NATO. Henry Ridgewell, 